Now, of course, in the acceleration, we're going to come from a low position to a high position. So we're going to use fun starts to play with this movement, to experiment with the acceleration, and we're always focusing on coming from somewhere down on the ground and finishing in a nice high position. So now that we know how to move from a low position to a high position and how to align our forces down the track, we can start to move towards the sprint start position. So we're going to start with the kneeling start where we already have a solid base to start from. And now we can think about our arm positions and having opposite arm and leg. And as we move forward, we're going to load this front leg ready to push down the track. Now the next step is to move into the two-point start, where we have to start to create that stability and create those knee angles for ourselves. So we're going to have a nice even split with our legs, where we feel we're in a strong position. And then we're going to bend this front leg until we create something like a 90 degree bend in the front knee. From here, we're going to try and be strong as we move forwards over the knee, maintaining this 90 degrees, ready to run. So finally, we're ready to move into our sprint start position. Now, often we see our students with their foot and their hand right up to the line. But what we want is this foot to be back so that our shins are pointing down the track and we can project our forces that way. So we're going to come to our two-point start position where we're nice and strong. And all we're going to do is lean forwards until our hands come down. You'll see then the hands and the shoulders are in line. And I have these knee angles that I was looking for in the two-point start. So from here, we're ready to introduce our on your marks, set and go commands and practice our runs down the track. So the last thing we want to teach is that we don't want to come from our start position straight into our upright running. We want to stay low for the first 10 meters and then slowly rise up. So we're going to set out a series of markers with the first 10 meters trying to stay as low as we can. The next 10 meters, we're going to rise up to our tall position. And the last 10 meters, it's going to be as fast as we can. And this is going to be our basic race plan. So hopefully by now, all of our students have learned a simple but effective sprint start position and learned a basic race plan they could put into practice. Now a chance for us to have some fun, have some competitive races, and to use the on your marks, set, and go commands.